Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn a creative PowerPoint picture fill technique you didn't know about. The beautiful PowerPoint picture fill technique you're about to learn is this. Now you might ask me, what is so creative and different about this technique? I already know how to create shapes like this and how to group them and fill them with picture. The difference is I have selected this group. Now I'm going to rotate the handle here. Take a look at this. The picture has remained in position. Now let me move this slightly to the side. Can you see this? That is the new technique that you're going to learn. The best part is this technique allows you to create groups with any shapes and then fill the group with any photo of your liking and adjust your design the way you want and ensure that your photo is positioned the way you want. Let me show you how easy it is to create this effect from scratch. Here I am on a new slide and this is the photo I am going to use for the demonstration purpose. First, I am going to go to the Auto Shapes Gallery and I am going to pick up this rounded rectangle tool under the rectangles option. I am going to click on it and I am going to draw a rectangular shape like this. And then I am going to hold this yellow handle and move it to the center so that the edges can have full curvature. Now I am going to adjust the height of this slightly and then I am going to make a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to place this right under the previous one and I'm going to adjust the spacing between the shapes. Yeah, that looks good. Now I'm going to press Ctrl D once again, another time, another time. So now we have got a beautiful stack of these rounded rectangular shapes. Now let me select all of them and press Ctrl G and maybe if required, I can make some final adjustments. Like say, I can extend the length, I can reduce the height, I can do all kinds of adjustments till the time I'm happy with the end result. And once this is done, remember this is a group. And when you fill this group with a picture, you will have the picture shown across all these shapes. So I'm going to select this picture. I'm going to right click and say copy. Now that puts this picture in the clipboard of the computer. Then I'm going to select this group, right click, go to format shape, and then go to this option called picture or texture fill. And then I'm going to insert picture from clipboard. Remember this picture is already there in the clipboard of the computer because we copied it. Now let us go to insert picture from clipboard option and now we have this picture right inside the group. Now I'm going to right click, cut this and then place it on this template here and I'm going to press Ctrl V to paste it. Now we have got our group filled with photo. Now let us see what happens if I rotate this group with the rotation handle. Now if I rotate it, you can see that the entire photo rotates along with the group. But that is not the effect I want. I want the photo to remain in its position while the group gets rotated the way I want. So how do I do that? Let me press Ctrl Z and keep it in position. Now if you see on the right hand side, there is one option called Rotate with Shape and it is by default checked. If I uncheck that and then when I rotate this, take a look at this, now I have rotated it, you can see that the photo remains in its position while I can easily rotate this group and make the design I want with total freedom. Can you now see the potential of this idea? You can create a group by putting together any type of auto shapes, fill them with photo and then adjust the rotation so that you can give a unique angle to your design. Of course, the final touch is to give it a white outline so that the photo looks really surreal. And now we have a beautiful looking photo design that can captivate your audience. And by the way, we give away the templates for all these tutorials in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. So if you are a member of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program, then you can download these work files and use them as templates 
for your future presentations that is one other reason why you may want to go in for ram gopal's powerpoint mastery membership program in case you don't know to access the program you go to presentationprocess.com website go to powerpoint training courses tab and that will take you to this page where we list all our powerpoint training courses like this as you can see we have training courses on animations charts and infographics pictures uh, essential design smart art mastery accelerator program all kinds of programs are there and of course ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program is your all access pass to all those programs and for a simple monthly membership you get instant access to all our powerpoint training courses if you are someone who is serious about improving your powerpoint skills then ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program is definitely a good resource for you and finally if you want to get access to exclusive powerpoint tips and tricks that i share only with my email subscribers you can join our success by powerpoint newsletter you will be the first to hear about any new product we introduce you will be the first one to get access to our free giveaways free email courses and more importantly we present offers and discounts to our products only to our email subscribers so please click on the link here join our success by powerpoint newsletter and get some exclusive tips and tricks to take your powerpoint skills to the next level i'll see you in the next video